Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a story time video and I thought this was super <clears throat> intense and interesting and pretty fucking funny now that I think about it. So I just wanted to say it because I'm gonna be doing a lot of story times on this channel. So you better be ready. Ugh. Uh. Ah! There you go got that out last year 2016 i was with my ex and um by the way i'm not bashing my ex or anything by the way this isn't gonna be like oh like my ex is such an asshole i'm like no <coughs> it's choking on dick but i was with my ex at this time and we were going to parties here and there and this moment i think we went to a fourth of july party at this time i'm 21 years old but i wasn't really experienced in drinking didn't know what party fouls were like you don't mix drinks so many people were there um, my ex's two chick friends were there that I got along with that were so nice to me. We're all drinking. I'm drinking wine because wine is my favorite thing ever. Wine. Wine is the shit. I can drink wine forever. Like, I really don't need anything else. Vodka, whiskey, bleh. Like, no. Wine, I will go. Add it. Just give me the whole bottle. I will drink it. Doesn't matter. So, I'm sitting by myself at some point in the backyard drinking wine by myself. And I'm talking to this really nice adult. You know what's so funny that I realized that I usually start talking and just continue talking with adults more than I talk with people around my own age. I always recall this happening at parties. Like I was literally talking to a woman who was like 40 or 50 years old, who was a mom at the party. And I was talking to her for hours. And I look around, I'm like, where the hell is everybody? And everyone's behind me just drinking fucking vodka and shit like that, talking and chatting. I'm just like, and my mom, like, what am I? Um, I don't know, I get along with everybody, especially adults. Like, <laughs> adults love me. <laughs> so I get inside the uh, house and more people show up. I'm like, holy shit. Uh, this guy, who happens to be my ex's friend, wants to drink with me. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> probably a bad idea, but do I know that I need to stop when I'm already drunk? No. So I think I got offered whiskey or some hard ass liquor. And it had something to do with like, you need to put a freaking lemon in your mouth and you know, chew on it or something right after you drink. Don't know how that shit works, still don't know, don't care. My ex is trying to stop me saying, that's enough, like you gotta stop. And I'm like, <laughs> do I give a fuck? No. So I kept drinking and I kinda got a little bit peer pressured, but like at the same time, I didn't even know I was being peer pressured because I was so drunk that I had no idea what that person was telling me and what I was doing. Like, I was just drinking. He told me to drink, I drank it. Bad idea! Mother of shit balls! Was I the most drunk person, most fucked up person at that party? I go into this bedroom where there's like 10 people there and there's this girl just sitting there in the corner and I know that's my ex's friend. I'm like, hmm, you know what? Let me ask my ex if I can make out with her. Yeah. I find girls very attractive. Never had sex with a girl, would I? Yeah, maybe, totally, yes! And I was talking about, you know, sex and having threesomes with my ex. He said that he would have been down for that. Just as long as we know the girl, we trust her and she's fucking hot. I'm just like, yes. I went on the bed and I look at her, I'm like, wow, I really want to make out with you. Like, it would be so much fun if like, we ask my boyfriend if I can do that because everyone in the room was cheering and chanting for us to make out. This girl next to me was like, oh my God, you gotta do it. Go ask your boyfriend. So I get off the bed, I find my boyfriend and I'm just like, hey, do you mind if I go make out with so-and-so? And he goes, and I'm like, can I? <laughs> and he goes, yes. And I'm just like, okay. So he runs into the room with me. There was like 10 to fucking 10 to 15 people in the room now just watching us. We're on the bed. <clears throat> oh my God, I cannot believe like I, I can't. I grab the girl's face and we make out for like a few seconds. And then after that, I black out. I don't remember anything for a good hour. The next thing I remember is that I'm over a toilet and there's four to five really sweet, down-to-earth, amazing girls that I don't even fucking know who are holding my hair 
and helping me to throw up. But there is this one girl in particular who was my ex's um, friend and she's like, I'm gonna stick my finger down your throat and you're gonna have to throw everything up so then you're better when you're home. And I'm just like, no, please don't do it, please. She's like, no, you have to do it. Oh, this girl stuck her finger down my throat more than five times. Cannot believe she did that. So much respect for her. There was no one as stupidly drunk as I was. Like, of course, me, fucking me. Yeah, I came back home and that was basically the story. Um, that was pretty insane. Um, moral of the story is watch what you're drinking and don't let people kind of push you to drink more than you already have. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please let me know what you want to see next. Do you want to see more story times? Because I, I got a bunch of them for you people. Let me know what you guys want to see. And please like it, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye!